Hi everybody, it's Sally from Vintage Discoveries here with another vintage, hopefully, bag haul of jewelry. Now I had to stop and start again because there was such bad tangles that I couldn't, I just couldn't have you go through that. But we have this, which is in bad shape. And there was a whole bunch of... Now there's tangles again. But beads. I'm guessing I will be putting together a bead lot. Um, some of these beads are very nice. I mean, these... I don't know what that is. Uh, I can't get it apart. But these are, um, these are glass. And they're very heavy. This. A cute little earring. Might be sterling. It feels like it, but maybe it's just cheap and very light. Could be. I mean, it's a cute little thing. And this earring, which is not silver. Some wonderful shells. More pearls. These are plastic. Never ending. This. This is very heavy. I don't know why. I guess these are glass. Oh, I think. What is that? I mean, they're nice glass beads. Oh, it's coral. Can you see that? It looks like coral. Yep, coral. I think they're supposed to just have a little bit of the gold on there and show some of the color through. But it definitely has some vertigray. But they are pretty beads. Just need to clean up. Oh, weird pearl earring with something missing. This I'm assuming belongs to something else. In the bag, maybe. These are pretty colors. Plastic, you can see the crease, I guess the, um, the mold, where they molded it, maybe not. Does it have a name? Could be Japan, and it is. You know, I love the, the Japanese beads from Japan, and these don't really have that much pizzazz, I have to say. Little religious charm. This, I don't know what material it is. It just seems like plastic. Sometimes these are marked. Sometimes they're gold. Yeah. This says, I think, it says something, yeah. Looks like 14K. Not much of a 14K scrap, but I'll take it. Lots of very pink chunky beads. I like this part of it, but looks like they're falling apart, and I don't think there's any other clasp to go by. Here's another piece that I don't know what it belongs to, and this is just a screw back earring. What does it say? It faintly says Koro to me. So that's cool, but is the other one in there? I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking this was part of a necklace or something. That's plastic leaves. Kind of an uh, Aurora Borealis coating on there. Palm 
Hong Kong. Little padlock. Another coral. I love this earring. It just needs a couple of more stones, but I love that. Did I just take this one out? A little heart. These are definitely glass. Mm, they're kind of neat. They're just really dirty. But they are glass. What's that? Little mother of pearl heart. These are just like a satin faux pearl. Is there a name or is it just my imagination? No. Let's see. I always got to take a look and see if these are gold or silver. These are metal hand painted from the 80s. This is pretty. No name, but it's very pretty. I don't feel good about finding the uh, match, but um, we'll just go for it and take a look. I don't know if this is marked gold. Dirty fingers. Oh, it was part of another, I mean, part of an earring. Plastic. Oh, here's the other earring. Those are pretty. They don't have any name on them, but I like them a lot. Put those to the side. Santa. Adorable with a big nose. The big, what the heck? Big round nose. That's cute. Some classic button earrings. More button. Eleanor. Pretty personal. Earthy endeavors. That's pretty personal. Oh, I found a three legged horse. I don't know what that's from. Maybe from like a. Um, you know, the candy machines or whatever you want to call them. This definitely must be a belt. Because it's very bulky and bleh. This is really pretty. Clip on earring. I hope I have another one because it's beautiful. It's adorable. It's plastic, but... How pretty would that be in the spring on Easter? Big B. Little tiny, tiny leaf. Doesn't look like it has any marking. A match to that button. Clip on. I don't even know what that material is. Like paper mache or something. <sighs> Don't need a spoon, but I got a spoon. What does that say? Community plate. Is that a brand or is that a place? Community plate. A swirly earring. Let's take a look at these. Oh. Just, just make sure. Nope. There is two though, but this is a cufflink, right? Not familiar with them, but that's what it looks like, and I like it.
the water cooler. <laughs> this is pretty. Is that an older chain? Uh, like, all right. It says Sterling. I think it says something back there too. Looks like 925. That's pretty. I'm happy with that. I love puffy hearts. I'll have to test it, of course. But it's kind of looks like it's older because of that, this clasp. But yet modern, I don't know, I guess. Oh, I love it. Okay. This is a necklace with pink plastic leaves. Kind of says 50s to me. I don't know when that's from, but here's another one. Oh, I think there's an earring to match this. These are just very thin, kind of iridescent. No name. I've seen them before. This is super feather, feather light. I don't know if they're handmade or cool leaves. That's Coro. That's the older one. With, see? And it says, Patent pending, coral. These are pretty leaves. They're leaves, right? Wait, how would it go? Oh, it goes like that on the ear, which is not what I would think. I'll put that to the side because it's pretty. More metal 80s earrings. Looks like a yellow watermelon. Plastic or wooden beads? I can't tell. This is wood. But at least they're not grimy and dirty. More leaves. But these are pretty. They're mother of pearl. And they have little buttons. And these look like they're sewn. It has a button here. That's pretty. I mean, I could see wearing that. On a, be on a beachy day, you know? Right? I mean, Mother Pearl is shell, right? It's kind of beachy. These are in bad shape. But this part is not. Genuine copper. More leaves. Definitely a theme. Looks like a little ball of tiger's eye. Very green button earring. I like that color green though. This weighs a ton. This is like, um, like milk glass. Ugh, but it's bad back there. I don't know what that says. Japan. Well, if I could clean it up, I'm not gonna see if the other one's in here. Well, we'll look, we'll take our time. Van Dome. I doubt that these were really Van Dome. I think they just put them on there because it's just like the cheap kind of metal. But then again, I don't know all the Van Dome, so I cannot say. Really lightweight plastic orchid. A little heart that looks like. Almost like that flow blue pottery. Pottery. P pottery. That's what it reminds me of. Old pottery. More spoons. I don't know what's going on. Good thing I didn't buy this by the pound. Oh my gosh. A big hair clip. Oh, there's something attached. A broken earring. 
These are pretty. Were pretty. These are plastic, but they're really cool. I like how they put the, um, the end caps on these discs. I like the colors. I'm going to have to put together a big bee block. A big bee block. Some more shells. A really big hair clip. What's that? Oh, it's something like... I don't know what you would do with it, but it looks like a dove and some like wedding bands or something, right? Does this hang off of something? A glowy plastic ring. Hair clip, unfortunately. Don't want to see any more of those. Oh, here's the other coral. Very nice. Some more fashion earrings from the 80s. That looks like little seashells painted, yep. That's what it is, kind of like a poppy. Ooh, that's very worn. More worn out stuff. This is a match to this silver tone. Pretty pink moon glow. A handmade cross. What is this? Oh, shoot. This was. Can you tell? The floating opal, but it's broken and the liquid came out, but it still has the little opals. Oh, that's a shame. I love those. Peggy. I have the hair clip, Peggy. Those are probably from the 50s, right? This might be part of a belt. I'm getting the belt vibe from this, which was probably so absolutely groovy. You can wear it as a necklace, clean it up, wear it as a necklace. I like the shapes. That was the one that wasn't gold. This is heavy. Ooh, that's worse than the other one. Definitely glass though. This is a pretty earring. Big marble. like it. Oh, I love this. It's in bad shape. I think this says Japan. I want the other one. I really like that lucite stuff. This is an earring. How would you wear that on your ear? That's odd. I love that chain. I love the squiggly chain. No name, but it's grape clusters. These are weird. It looks like it's broken. Really strange looking beads in strange green colors. <laughs> what the? These are odd, but kind of cool. Oh, I want to say what that is. Hair clip. I said it anyway. This is Germany. Different. It's the only one I got to use. This looks like nothing. And that was it. Ugh. 
But yeah, I found that little piece of gold, a little scrap of gold, and this pretty thing that's cute, and some coral. So I'm happy with that. You know, nothing crazy. Even if it's weird, I still like it. You know, if it's if it's vintage and it's unique, I have never found one before. Then I'm cool with that. But. Give me something here. I don't know what that is. Looks like cracked abalone or something. Croft and barrel. I don't know what that is. Oh boy, we got watches here. We got watches. Maxim. No. Oh no. Vivani. I think I've had that brand before. Vivani, Vivani, Vivani. Ooh, these are nice beads. I'm assuming it's broken, but I'm afraid to take it out because I don't want it to go all over the place, but what happened? Is it broken? Yeah. These are nice glass beads, though. I like that one, too. I'm gonna do a bead lot. Deb. Oh, I remember that store. I remember. Ooh. I remember uh, in school we learned how to make ribbons, you know, drawing it and do the shading and the dimensions. I kind of like this. I hope that the other one is in there. Uh, cute little butterfly on there. Dollar ninety nine. Angle. Older, I guess. It's definitely vintage, but that's wooden. There's some nice seed beads right here in the bead lot. Whoa, what the heck is that? Cara, New York. Well, that's different. I'll have to look up that name. You never know with some things. I've had things where it was like, well, this looks like handmade blah, and they were really worth quite a bit, but so I'll have to look that up. Oh, earrings. Okay. Trying to look like a parrot or a flower. Something. Earrings. Don't know what that says. But it's just a braided necklace. Um, oh, these are coupons. With some mother of pearl. No, abalone? That's different. Oh, right here. Apostrophe. That's the water cooler again. <laughs> Heck, I wouldn't I wouldn't wear those, but somebody might. These are different. Definitely a vintage item right here. I mean, we're not talking antique, but we're talking 80s probably. No. Oh, rainbow. Yeah. Eek. Well, you know you take a chance. Newport Danglies. 
Are they pierced? No, clip-ons. Somebody, you know, I feel like this is like, like almost like a Goodwill bag. This is from an antique uh, mall. Well, I made some new connections, so this weekend I plan on getting some great stuff. You guys will be able to see it as soon as I get it. This is interesting. If I have the other one, I'll be happy. I don't know if this is just pieces of something. But let's take a look. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a charm bracelet that's seen better days. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn, but it's still not the greatest. Does it say something? I guess not. I mean, it's not the worst. It's got some pretty little charms on it. Flowers and such. Clip on earrings. That's a pretty keychain. You can wear that as a pendant. Eek. nice and it's older you can tell by the V in the back I think it's crooked there you go yeah that's not bad I like the boldness I like the shape of it let's try to stay positive keychain heavy duty monstrosity. Interesting. Got a lot going on. A real lot going on. Something you might pick up at a casino. Heavens. That's different. Made in Korea. I don't know. I kind of like this, the, the pink wash. What do you got here? Now let's get this thing out of the way. And this thing. Good zipper thing. And this thing with the discs. Oh no. It's older. I mean, it's got the barrel clasp. Very heavy, but it's in bad shape. Bad, yucky, yucky. Don't like it. I don't know what that says. Times Square. Interesting. I like this kind of snaky stuff. name but it's got the snaky stuff and the chain not bad 
Velcro back earring with some stones. It's not in the greatest of shape. No. Birch Hill. Return policy. 10 day waiting period for a refund of all check purchases. purchases. Steinmart. Like, who uses a check? They got smart with all people writing checks and returning stuff, I guess. I'm guessing this was a return. <laughs> Possibly. I already showed this. I have these. So terrible. It's just terrible. Another keychain with a watch. And wow, this has got a lot of stuff going on. C. Oh, there's two. I think there's two. Yep, there's this, and there's this big dangly one. I could never use that. And a big C. Pearl earring. A clip-on earring that's just not pretty. Somebody could use this for crafts, I guess. This is kind of cool. This is probably the only cool thing I've seen so far in this bag, I would say. Kind of, sort of. Some interesting things. Not bad. That. Uh, I've had one, some earrings like that before. Big discs they were. But I like the shape of that. No. What does this say? Voice. I've never heard of that before. Voice. Hmm. I mean, they're not in bad shape. I'll say for them. These are kind of cute, huh? Some like Roman guys. Okay, I'm sorry, but I the longer I stare at these, the worse it gets. I'm not even gonna say. You can come up with your own Images, conclusions. Here's that other earring. Which, if the stones aren't too dead, I kind of like them. Parco? Something. But the other one had kind of dead stones. So that was kind of a bummer. What a mess. This is pretty. <laughs> a chain with some Aurora Borealis. And they seem like they're glass. So that's kind of cute. But yeah, I think I'm done with that um, particular um, bag deal over there. Um, but I'm going to have to wait till Saturday to get some of the things that I'm hoping to get. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now, if I can find my bag. I did get something else at the antique mall. Something that I was eyeing for a while. 
and it's, it was in the case and it's sterling silver and it's old and I'm going to have to do some research uh, about it. But now, I, he said it was some kind of, she was a warrior or something. It's, um, it is sterling. It is old. Uh, I have to do some research on it. It's a pin pendant, and I think there's something on there that says who painted it or something. Now, I'm thinking this is a woman warrior, but look at her arm. I know it's supposed to just be shading, but it just looks kind of hairy. But overlooking that, I thought it was beautiful. And I'm just a little hesitant about wearing it because it's an older pin and it kind of sticks out, but I'm still gonna wear it. So, but I need to do some research on it. I thought it was really neat. Oh, there's the, it's 800 silver. So it is very old, but I just don't know where to start. Man, I thought it was really cool. But it reminds me of that episode of King of Queens. Have you watched that? Where uh, his friend gave them a, a, a painting of the two of them and Carrie had one arm that was huge, like bigger than anything else. <laughs> it just didn't go. But I, I'm interested in finding out more about this. This is glass. So uh, good luck to me on that one. And... Thanks for watching, and I promise um, it's going to get better. But we took a chance, and we found some couple of good things, you know, the Poro earrings and that pretty sterling heart necklace and everything. I thought that was nice. And um, these also, I like these. I would love to find the other confetti lucite earring, but... We shall see. All right, guys. Have a great night. Talk to you soon. Bye.